earlier this year, Meta unveiled to us the all new MetaQuest Navigator system. Then they came back after some initial feedback and cleaned it up a bit more. But now, starting today, the Navigator is more refined, simplified, and better than ever. Let's get into it. All right, so we are now inside of the public test channel version of V83 for the MetaQuest platform. And you can see now we have the gorgeous, amazing, and beautiful all new Navigator and its design. First thing out the gate, I love these new designs. It's very Quest, uh, very, uh, you know, the colorful yet elegant, yet clean, simple, uh, flat yet 3D. I really love what they've done with that and just kind of having those little subtle things there. So first things first, let's go ahead and focus on this left hand side and then we'll deal with the bottom with the changes. So let's go over here. We have a section for all Horizon Plus. So anything under my subscription that I have, uh, prototypes, which are particular applications that uh, Meta made specifically uh, that are not fully baked yet, but they want uh, folks to get them in and begin to test as well as download so these are like my updates that i've downloaded in a little bit or any other types of things i may have had installed now notice when you go through here and i can hear people rejoicing already what you don't see in here are horizon worlds you don't see any horizon world in this library this is purely purely all my vr applications and yes I have a ton and I want to also show that I also have access to all of my PC VR applications as well, like Asgard's Rav, the original, and be able to launch straight into it, straight from my quest through wireless PC link. I believe this might have been added in V81, I'm not sure, but just so happy to see that you can have quicker access to PC VR on the Quest. So if that's your thing, you know, go for it for sure. So that's all the changes in the library tab. Love what they've done uh, with the UI elements here. But let's get down to these quick controls. I love how each one of these just have their own like feel and vibe. Let's go down to the U tab here. And as you can see, we load right into to see multiple different avatars. It's a fantastical avatar. This is an inspirational avatar here and just different ones Ones that I've earned over time. I'm loving uh, that they're showing all of these. I can pick them and begin to use that. I love that we have that ability now. Just really, really great. So now let's go down to the dedicated worlds tab. That's right, we now have a dedicated section for Horizon Worlds Worlds. Now, why is this such a big deal? Because it's separated from your regular VR library, your regular VR and mixed reality library. Some folks maybe are just not sold yet on Horizon Worlds as much as me and Joy is. So they've separated the two. So you have your library for specifically for your VR and mixed reality apps. And when you want to get into Worlds, you can go right here. And what I love about it is some of these even show little video elements when you hover over them. Just really, really cool. Just love how it looks and feels. And there's something else I want to go over because I missed this in my first call. One thing I want to bring some attention to that I didn't see on my first run through here is the context aware menu. So when you're in particular in your library, you can see here that you have options specific for this. What I didn't realize when I would go into worlds, let's say I'm in this portion here, I also have a context aware menu here for recently visited worlds, etc. right? As well as my saved worlds, which is really, really cool. So I don't even have to jump into Horizon. I can jump straight into Crystal Frenzy, straight from here, which is of course Joy's game. You should definitely, definitely go check it out. Um, but that's really cool. So I can search for worlds. I can also see recently visit and explore new ones that I may have never been in. And of course, when we hit the people tab, we also have a context aware menu right now i'm in what's called the connections folks that i'm actually connected with yes uh definitely connected with a ton of people right but when i hit on this menu again i can go to recently met and these are folks who i've been around recently in headset with and of course number one would always be joy rain love to see it and of course you also have a suggested area of folks that matter things you may want to connect with in the future. One of the other changes I really want to show you is how incredible it is 
to use remote desktop now on Quest. So look at this, it's gonna come in. I have my keyboard here. I could put this down and look at our ultra wide screen here. That looks fantastic. I can move it back, get even more size there. That's what I'm talking about. Like you could change it from ultra wide to wide, compact, portrait, etc. And like I said, I have my keyboard right here. It's just really amazing what we're already capable of doing now on the Quest platform. And I just love it so much. And watch when I take this down, move it away. We're back, we're good to go. Now that we have uh, the navigator really baked in, we also can still do our anchoring. So I can anchor particular applications in a certain area. And then once they're there, they stay. So now I can have me a permanent browser window right here. So when I come down and sit down, let me just move that perfectly right here. So when I come down and sit down, boom, I can just watch or work on some things. Maybe have my keyboard right here. It works perfectly when I walk away. There it is. Well, there you have it, folks. This is the all new Navigator experience rolling out right now for the public test channel V83 version for the MetaQuest platform. I'm loving the simplified UI here, the simplified controls here, and how we just continue to have an evolution on the Quest platform. Shout out to the entire team working on the Navigator system and Horizon OS as a whole, because we've gotten some incredible updates and I feel like we're still just getting started. You know what else? It's just getting started. You know what else you should continue to pay attention to? Hmm? Hmm? This channel. So why don't you subscribe? Why don't you hit the thumbs up? Why don't you comment below? Let us know how much you enjoy this content. And hit that bell notification so you can know the next time a video comes because I promise you, we got a lot more content coming real soon. It's your boy, Jay Dunn, and I'll see you next time. Peace.